unfortunate. How can you tell this kid's mom that, you know, he won't be coming back from Dallas? It, it woke me up out of my bed. With, um, a fellow coach called me on the phone and told me I've been up ever since. A charter bus carrying several Little League football teams crashes on the way home, leaving one child dead, dozens injured. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Ketz. The charter bus was traveling from Dallas to Memphis, and they were on their way back from an all-star youth football game. Over the weekend, the bus never made it. It crashed just after 2.30 on Interstate 30 in Saline County, just outside of Benton. New tonight, we're hearing from one of the first people who showed up to the scene, the tow truck driver who now has that bus at his mm -hmm. lot. Okay, okay, forward, Tyler Thompson joining us now live near Interstate 30 where all of this happened. Tyler, that bus is currently sitting in the impound lot tonight, but what's the next step in the investigation as far as we know? Well, Bob, yeah, I'm told that U.S. Department of Transportation investigators will be dissecting every square inch of that charter bus, which, as you mentioned, remains at a nearby impound lot. And again, that charter bus crashed, carrying several people not far from where we are near this stretch of Interstate 30 in Saline County. And tonight, people are in mourning, while many others remain shocked. Surrounded by dents and dings, Clint Newcomb strolls through his impound lot in Benton. Just in this lot here, I probably got close to 200. His sea of damage grew bigger Monday after a charter bus carrying youth football players crashed and rolled overnight, eventually landing yards away from Interstate 30 in Saline County. Police cars, fire trucks, and choppers swarmed the scene. Then Newcomb showed up with his tow truck. Oh yeah, they was helping them out. Yeah, they was it was yeah they were still getting people out of the car, you know, covering them up, trying to help them, you know, helicopters landing. It was. It was chaos. The crash killed a nine-year-old boy and sent more than 20 kids to the hospital. As of Monday night, all but four have been sent home. The injuries have ranged really from uh, injuries to the skull and brain to uh, lots of lacerations, lots of broken bones. The dirt on Newcomb's hands and jeans reveal a glimpse of the cleanup. It's a really bad deal when anybody has a wreck, but it's a really bad deal because it was a, it was a, it was a multiple kids. It was, a, it was a lot of people. The charter bus remains here Monday night, parked out of sight. Tuesday, Department of Transportation investigators are expected to examine it from every angle. And people are really rallying together to help families of the victims of this crash. I spoke to the AAU and the IYFL. Those are youth football chapters here in central Arkansas. They were raising money today to give to the families for food and housing while they're here. A lot of these families are from Tennessee. And I'm told as of this afternoon, they raised about $1,000 again to go toward food and housing for these families that are going through this at this time. Live in Saline County, Tyler Thomas and KARK4 News. Back to you. All right, Tyler, thanks very much. And we're learning more about the victim in this tragic incident. The Saline County coroner confirms nine-year-old Cameron Johnson died in the accident. We're told he was a third grade student at Aspire Coleman Elementary School in Raleigh, Tennessee. It's a suburb of Memphis. He was a member of the Memphis Wolfpack Little League football team.